son says to his father, why do they hate us so much? And his father says he can't believe everything that you see on your television. Now when you finish your homework, go outside and play with your friends. You may never see a day quite like this again. It's so sunny and the air is so fresh, about as good as it gets. Just get back here before your mother calls you for dinner. His daughter comes to dinner late, she's been out on a date. The boy she's been seeing quite a bit of. Father looks up at her with a fake scowl. She stops straight in her tracks for she sits down and he smiles. He says, How is the love of your life? She smiles back before saying a word. I gotta get my time and dad, well, I can. He needs to be one of the first station where the fighting began again. Mother sits quietly watching the whole scene Cause she knows what it means to lose someone who is never coming back Every he sent retaliation of the first attack She lost a brother and a father in the 80s After they overthrew the Shah The big bully across the Atlantic sat there and all Telling all its friends that this will be the beginning of the end This mother just wants to raise her kids in peace With her husband Says all I want an end to the sanctions, to the sanctions, so we can get on with our lives. She says all I want an end to the sanctions, to the sanctions, and she starts to cry. She says I don't care who's running the show. It seems it's all been the same shit in my lifetime, and so I just want my kids to grow up happy. Have a chance when all the vampires are loose on this land and stop gang raping every drop of black gold that they can. With no respect or thought about the consequence, all the world outside the borders that they alone have etched to preserve a quality of life that's 100% fucking selfish. Snow across the Atlantic comes down in heaps as the orchestra war mongers is far from asleep, churning away that restless machine, ignorant of everything except its precious elite. For what they say goes, and the prison's about to burst. Only echo the chorus of the no health care curse and the surviving many who barely make ends meet, all locked in the theater, strapped in their seat. They're waiting for more popcorn. Waiting for the credits, waiting for the sanding, comes with the exit, exhausted and used up with the hope they once had, dreamed of the possibility of what happens next. These regular people are no more to blame than the own human reflection of those people in pain that had nothing to do with the state of things. Christmas time in Tehran, Christmas time in New York City, the mother, the father, the son, the daughter, must find a way to avoid the solder. From within every border, there are those who want an end to all the violence in the world. Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Can you hear them?